Okay guys, just wanted to do a quick uh, tutorial here relating to the Theta S camera and the accelerometer and gyro issues that some people have been having uh, with cars and the like. Um, you can see with this footage here that I recorded, you'll see that I'm going to um, be driving along here and then uh, start braking to come to a corner. And what you'll notice is that the car, the footage starts kind of rolling around with it um, because the accelerometer in the camera is trying to tell tell the camera where what is level and what movement is happening. So a lot of people don't want this, especially like rally drivers or you know anybody who's into motorsports. They don't want this feature, and there's currently no way to actually get rid of it through the Tata app. So it's basically a piece of metadata that's in the original footage. So there's a guy on one of the on the developers forum uh, of Tata360.com who basically figured a way out a way to get rid of this metadata. And uh, so I'm going to go through it with you guys now because it involves using a command line program. And I don't think a lot of people are familiar with using them and it's quite complicated. It takes a little while to get used to. So what we're going to need to start is Atomic Parsley, which you can get from SourceForge.net, which I will link below in the description. And then you're obviously going to need your original Tata footage. This one here, not the injected footage. If you inject it, it's too late. Or sorry, not injected, uh, stitch it. If you stitch it, it's too late. So your original footage. Now what I did just for handiness because it involves you have to kind of type this out is uh just uh rename it as a test footage, that's fine. So first thing you're gonna do is open command prompt, CMD, and uh, just drag it over here for handiness. And you wanna drag and drop atomic parsley over here and create a space. Very important you make a space. So make sure you're you've got a space there. Then drag your test footage over. This is literally just dragging and dropping. It's not a big deal. There. Now, what you can do here with Atomic Parsley is view all the metadata, uh, which comes up in a big, massive uh, line. I can just show you that real quick, actually. But now we don't need to know any of this. Um, I don't know why this is even. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. All I'm concerned about though here is with this this piece here, or DT5, because that is the metadata um, that relates to the gyro. Um, I didn't figure this out. Uh, somebody on a forum figured this out. I don't have the time or the skill to go through all of these pieces of metadata and figure out what they all do. So you don't need. You can skip that step. You don't need it. Start again. Drag atomic parsley into command prompt. Create your space again. Very important. Drag your test footage over and create a space. Spaces are very important. Now, this is another part where um, everything's really important. Um, spaces, making sure letters, everything's spelled right, because if it's not, it won't work. If, trust me, this is like the fifth time I've tried to make this video uh, with stupid mistakes. So, here we go. Dash dash, manual, atom, remove. Again, uh, I'm not sure how important atom and remove be, be capitalized is, but just do it. It's easier this way. Space quotation M O V dot U D T A dot capital or D T five end quotation. That's basically your command telling uh, Atomic Parsley to remove the or D T five piece of metadata which relates to the gyro, which is one we want. Next thing you want to do is create a space there again. Dash dash output now you're going to tell atomic parsley what to output the footage to or what to rename it so i'm just going to call it test one dash no dash or dt5 and a because i have this a couple times you can rename this whatever you want it does not matter so now you hit return and as you can see there it's written to the file and it's there is probably a way to get this to write to where you want it to. at the moment i don't currently know how to do that but don't worry, it's basically just saved itself to um, a default file. So if you just go to start and then type in um, what you just renamed your file as, which mine, or DT, or TD. Actually, I renamed mine wrong. See, <laughs> see, this this is the problem. See here, so I should have renamed that. Or DT, not or TD. Doesn't matter. It's just an output name. It's fine. But it's here. You go to uh, open file location, and you can see it's just here in my C drive. 
and then I can drag that back over to my folder here, which is here's the one I done earlier. And then if you just you just all you need to do is drag and drop into your Teda S uh, app, and it will now stitch the video. Why is that doing that? It will now okay. It'll now stitch the video, and I will get this as a result. Now, don't be worried. I recorded this with the camera hanging upside down, so that's not an issue. All I've done is then just bring the video file into my into whatever video editor you want. I use Premiere Pro. Not everyone's going to have that. Use Movie Maker. Use I um, Final Cut. Whatever you have, and I just flipped it. There's something with VLC. And now it's the exact same footage. I'll bring you to the exact same point. You can see, look, I'm driving around, I'm roll steering the car, and there's absolutely no roll whatsoever. And that is how you do it.